I'm going to go ahead and jump into this Orion Starseed reading. And we'll just see how uh, the cards are saying and how the cards are feeling for the Orion Star Seed today. Okay, Orion Star Seeds, we have the Three of Cups. You are really ready to nip the overindulgence in the butt. Um, if you've been holding back with a lack of self-control when it comes to anything, alcohol, drugs, addiction, um, obsession, social media, obsessive searching, obsessive uh, uh, anything that you're doing um, that isn't in a sense of moderation, okay? You are ready to nip it in the butt. Um, you are uh, defying the thresholds and the limitations of, of these things. And you are not, not trying to practice escapism. You're trying to elevate yourself to the next level. Okay, so you don't care about the unpleasant aspects that you're going to have to face to nip these things in the butt. Um, you're tired of the self-destruction and you're tired of the avoidance. And you really understand and you realize at the end of the day, these problems are only going to get worse in the long run if you don't start addressing these issues now. And so you're rising up. You have a lot of family support. You have a lot of emotional support. And you're very emotional about this because we have the Nine of Cups down here, okay? And so you are all about achieving goals right now. You are all about pushing forward. You are all about defeating the duality and the polarity that's running through you right now. You're tired of the delay. You're ready to reach your goals. You're, try you're really trying to actualize things and make them a realistic experience in your life. Um, you're also having a lot of downloads right now through your emotions, through your spiritual body. You're connecting deeply to spirit. Spirit is coming through to a point that it is forcing you to make these life-changing decisions at this time. And so you are needing to step up and you are needing to uh, really push forward for yourself because there's a lot of self-healing that's going on at this time. Also, a lot of healing that's being... Uh, generated for the collective because as the Orion warrior, as the Orion star seed, everything that you step up and you self-actualize and self-realize for yourself is trickling into the collective for self, for collective growth, for collective healing and collective realization. And this is how the Orion warrior does do this. This is how everybody does it. All star seeds do, all star seeds do it is that they are collected and tethered to the collective minds. So every healing thought Every uh, triumph in your life, everything that you overcome on a soul level for yourself generates momentum uh, towards the polarization in the collective. And Orions, you are uh, taking a lot of this head on, okay? But there is some denial. There is some denial. And there's also emotional attachments that are feeding upon you. Okay, the dark forces, the dark attachments are feeding on your light body. They are feeding on your quantum and you really need to clear this within yourself. You really need to recognize where the dark forces are coming from, because right now they're all around you. They're all up around you and you it's it's multiple forces of, of darkness that is feeding upon your energy. So you're really needing to take a look at your reality. What are you indulging in taking accountability? Um, for your own uh, submissions to these outside forces and how they are affecting your life and cutting these energetic cords, okay? This is going to provide your soul fulfillment and this is what your soul is seeking and your soul is asking at this time. Um, this is a very expansive aspect of you and this is coming from a much higher oversoul aspect of your own self-identity, your own self-awareness that is coming into you through your vertical ascension column to embody, to send forth these messages for you today. You're tired of the lack mentality. You're tired of the uh, lack of prosperity. You're tired of the failure. You're tired of the loss. You're ready for change, okay? I can feel this. There is you're ready for change. You're ready for uh, the drama to come to an end. You are really ready to uh, provide justice uh, to the injustices. Um, and you are, on a personal level, there's some em um, employment issues. There's some financial issues. Um, there's some struggle about the security, the foundation. Um, a lot of that's taken a hit over the last few months. 
And so you're really trying to improve uh, the security and the foundation of your life. You're really trying to improve your health. The health is a big thing. The health just keeps going over in my mind. The health um, and uh, financial security. So you've been feeling alone for some time and feeling kind of abandoned, feeling kind of anxious, feeling kind of unwanted. Um, and you're really just starting to kind of come out of this and you're hungry. You're ready for more. You're ready to kind of pick up and start a new path. You have a lot of accelerative energy right now through this 1111 portal. You are in opposition on the astrological and planetary alignment. You are in opposition to Antares. You are in opposition here. Okay. And so you are getting an accelerated thrust of potential of a uh, higher potential energy because of this alignment. And so Orion's, you will be feeling this, that if you were in a shitty situation, well, that's starting to, that's starting to turn for you. You're starting to gain momentum. You're starting to clear the duality and the polarized shadow. Okay. Cause it was a polarized shadow. You're coming out of the polarization of the shadow. There's a lot of growth, a lot of fertility. We have the Empress. So we have uh, on a deeper level, on a soul level, we have nurturing coming through. We have earth mother force coming through. We have uh, the goddess of fertility coming through. We have uh, triple goddess energy as well. I don't know if this is a triple goddess alignment with the moon, this new moon, but it's definitely an accelerated new moon being that it follows an 1111 portal. Um, and so it's clearing out the, the, uh, frivolity, the promiscuity. Okay. Orions, you're notorious for promiscuity. Okay. You're, you're about to hit a purification wave that's going to come through a lot of purification on that 1111 portal, clearing out the sexual dark energies that you've held inside. Females, female Orion star seeds. It's time to do a womb cleansing. It's time to do a, uh, it's time to do a vaginal cleanse. It's time to balance the pH. Okay. You know what? You got to get all of these, uh, old lovers energy out of you. It's time to purify the body. That's got to go. That's old news. That's holding you back energetically. And that's got to leave the body. Men, it's time to quit sleeping around. It's, qu it's time to quit being, um, Orion the hunter hunting for the wrong things. In love, hunting for the wrong things in love. You need to start hunting for the right things, which is loving yourself and putting yourself first and staying true to your own vibration, your own frequency, your own truth. And when you do that, what is yours will transpire. What is yours will manifest. Okay? We have a double star here. This is the star in the UFO tarot. This is the star in the Dark Knight Sun tarot. Okay? Same card. This one's through water. They're both through water. This is that amplification of the plasma, of the water vibration, of the water frequency in the body. That collective pain body that's drowning, that's trying to raise up, that's trying to ascend. Um, this is the cyclones and the tsunamis and the floods. This is what's happening collectively um, according to stargate signets and ley lines that are being generated, but it's also going on inside the body. We got many energy vortex of cyclones that are spinning out of control in the body. We have to restabilize this polarization. We have to restabilize this illuminated aspect inside of us that's propagating these emotional uh, struggles, these emotional outbursts, the anger. There's a lot of anger. I keep feeling anger through the collective hurt. A lot of people are hurt. Things aren't going their way. Things might be going their way. Things aren't going their way. People are confused. People don't know which way they're going. That is the effects of polarization. Okay. It wants to revive the hopelessness. Okay. All is not hopeless. All is not lost. Again, like I said from my uh, update earlier, it's about pulling your head out of your ass. Start being grateful for what you have. And I'm not saying you're not grateful for what you have because maybe you wake up every day and you are grateful for what you have. But there is a sense of lost inspiration in this soul collective. Like it's like the light got dim. It's like, no, y'all are warriors. Y'all are our fighters. Y'all are the ones that transmute all of this transversal waves, these polar waves, okay? You guys are the ones that basically uh, uh, dissolu disillusion the illusions, Okay, and it's not from a pessimistic place. It's from a real place. 
It's from where, where you're real real and you're real raw and you really deliver that truth and what people need to hear, what people need to know. And this is how you are uplifting the collective at this time. Okay, so we're shifting into a positive outlook. Um, the water in the body is going to start to lose that weight. You're not going to be bloating anymore. Okay, your bloat, your bloating is going down. Basically, you're you're becoming lighter. You're becoming a light body. You're becoming instead of a heavy, dense, uh, uh, intoxicated astral field of plasma, you are becoming a crystalline plasma. And so, the crystals in the body are propagating the ascension, the illumination, and your aura is beginning to glow. Okay, I see eight stars. The eight-sided star, okay? The eight-sided star, this is the solar uh, geometry at the Stargate in Giza, Egypt. This is what is being encoded to and from. I wake up every single morning and I go outside. I stare at the sun. I send this geomancy from my pineal to the center of the sun. I generate the solar codes and I bring them back to my body. Okay, Orion Starseeds, you need to be doing this too. You need to be connecting with the sun. The sun is what is going to heal you. You need to take vitamin D. You need to take vitamin D because this is what is going to help with the depression and the lack of self-esteem. This is what is going to um, help one to accept these imperfections on a spiritual level, on an emotional level, all these things, okay? Like I said, the pH is off in the body. The alchemic, the alchemistry is off in the body. This needs to be repaired here in the Orion Star System, the Orion Star Seed Collective. Okay, you're being asked here to slow down in your communications, business, news, or travel. You're going too fast. You're going too hard, okay? It's all kinds of petty annoyances, all kinds of tiny little frustrations, all kinds of miscommunications, okay? All of this stuff, it's like you're in a Mercury retrograde, but you're actually not, but it feels like you're in one, okay? That's kind of the message I've been getting over and over is Mercury retrograde, but I'm like, wait, okay? There's no Mercury retrograde. It's that we are, um, we are in the thick of a polarized electrotonal wave a transversal wave that is affecting the geometric uh, encoding of the landmass, therefore, is disturbing um, uh, the, the the harmony and the balance. The I am presence, the the crown chakra, is going through major recalibration. Okay, Archangel Michael, all of this is coming through. Um, there's a lot of repentance for things that you feel guilty about at this time. Okay, you need to acknowledge this stuff and acknowledge your mistakes. Ask for forgiveness inside yourself, inside your own higher self or whatever you connect to on a level of faith. Um, if that's your Orion guides, if that's the Orion star system, if that's the solar sun, whatever that is, there's this feeling of needing to forgive yourself. Um, and you need to transcend these limitations. Uh, Orion star seeds, you are the prince and the princess of light. Okay. It's just that, uh, um, there needs to be more discernment, more sanctification, um, more higher mind realizations. Um, you're kind of like the fool right now. We got the fool card. Okay. So you're taking chances. You're not really recognizing your unlimited potential, but you're really at the beginning of it. You're really right there, just ready to uh, start going in a more positive direction. The whole world's starting to go in a positive direction, but we need our Orions to stay strong. We need our Orions to be those that warrior class that really stands for something, okay? Um, to really uh, reactivate that enthusiasm. And the spontaneity and that zest for life. That is what the Orions bring us. Have you ever hung out with, an or with someone who's got four or five places of an Orion? Trust me, you're not sitting down watching TV. No, you're out living life. Okay, you're out doing stuff. You're at one place to another, to the another, to the another. Every single day is full of opportunity and potential when Orions are at their best. When Orions are standing tall. When Orions are facing um, the adversary, and they are basically um, really appreciating and marveling the beauty of their surroundings, and they are really able to take flight in in the the opportunity of their freedom. Orions love freedom. Orions do not like to be held down. Okay, and so they bring this to the collective. They are transmuting um, all of the dangers right now. They're transmuting this by being pioneers, by being the face of the fool. Okay, 
Um, sometimes they, they have to be the ones that go in there and, and be the reckless behavior, be the blind optimism, be the total disregard for reality to show people reality, to break the illusions, to break the, uh, to replace the broken mirror, so to speak. They sometimes exhibit living in a dream world. Um, but that's what they exhibit and it is dangerous, but it is what marks the rude awakening that the collective needs to see, hear, and feel through the Orion heartbeat. And as that Orion heartbeat beats around the world between all these individuals, it's beating for the collective and it is transmuting this polarization in the collective. Okay, so I hope that this gave you guys some insight today what's going on with the Orion star seed with this Orion galactic update and the activation of this Atlantean stargate. This is huge right now. You guys will be receiving, like I said, a lot of messages with water. A lot's coming up with that. A lot of Atlantean memories. So you might be clearing a lot of distortions at this time through the Atlantean cataclysm, the Atlantean holocaust, the Atlantean floods. Um, those memories are coming forward to uh, essentially heal the broken parts of the collective now. These are overlapping simulta simultaneous reality fields that that never stop. They are when time waves merge and re-enter one another's existence through the landmass and through the perceptions of the conscious beings that walk this earth. Okay, and so these reality fields re-merge to heal deeper parts of the collective. And this is why we have these Stargate activations, is because they are meant to keep divinely guiding the destiny of humanity. So if you'd like a Starseed origin reading, a Platinum reading, an Akashic Record reading, you can find me at IndigoAngel222.com. Please feel free to join my Patreon, patreon.com forward slash IndigoAngel for meditations and visualizations. Thank you so much, guys. I love you all. Have a beautiful day.